Team India has lifted the Asia Cup 2023 trophy and what a win for Team India. Well, after close matches in this Asia Cup, everybody was expecting this finale to be an exciting one. But what a finale it was. Mohammad Siraj uh, completed the match in the first innings itself with the four wickets in his over. Well, we'll talk about Mohammad Siraj, but when I'm talking about this uh, interesting victory of Team India against Sri Lanka, Let's have a look at the records shattered by India. Now, first up, this is the biggest ODI win for Team India in terms of balls remaining. So, Team India defeated Sri Lanka in Asia Cup final by 10 wickets. And the credit goes to the fast bowlers of Team India. And then, obviously, good batting display from Shubman Gill and Ishan Kishan. We'll come to that point, but let's have a quick look over here. Now, this is the biggest ODI win for India. 263 balls were remaining. Now, in this list, we can see how Team India won against different teams uh, in 2001, 18, 22. But this is the biggest win. 263 balls were remaining. It was just a matter of six overs uh, when uh, Team India completed the chase and uh, they won Asia Cup 2023. Now, um, talking about records, and as I already mentioned, that India defeated Sri Lanka by 10 wickets. So, let's have a look. The 10 wicket wins in ODI finals. Now, in terms term of that, uh, we have India versus Zimbabwe 1998 match where India won the match. Then in 2003, in this match, England won the match. And now, 2023, India chased down that target. It was not a big target. Sri Lanka managed to make only uh, 50 runs and in just a few overs, India chased that target. But uh, 10 wicket wins have happened earlier as well in ODI finals. But this one was very interesting because Sri Lankans had no answers to what Indian bowlers were doing. Now, lowest totals in an ODI final. Now, this is the lowest total ever registered in an ODI final. 50 runs that Sri Lanka made against India in this Asia Cup final is the lowest uh, ODI total ever in a final match. After that, if you see these uh, four matches, in the three matches, Sri Lanka has been the constant name here. In the first match, as I already mentioned, Sri Lanka versus India in Asia Cup 2023. Then India versus Sri Lanka. Sharjah 2000, then um, 78 runs, uh, Sri Lanka versus Pakistan, again Sharjah 2002. So it was long back in 2000s, uh, 2000, 2002, here 81, that is just a matter of a uh, few years back, that is to, uh, 2019. But here, if we look at the scores, then the first three scores do include Sri Lanka, which is something to worry about for the Sri Lankan team. Now, as I talk about Sri Lankan team, so let's have a look at at their lowest ODI totals. This is their second lowest ODI total. Their uh, lowest ODI total has been 43 against South Africa in the year 2012. And now this 50 run score has become their second lowest ODI total. And then as you can see, it was 55 against West Indies, 67 against England and 73 against India in 2023 itself. So uh, it has been the case uh, two times this year that they have uh, scored very less runs against India, which means that Sri Lanka versus India is also a great uh, rivalry, but it turns out to be a lopsided match most often than not. Um, as we talk about uh, Sri Lanka and India, we can never miss out on one name and here it has to be Mohammad Siraj. Now, when it comes to Siraj, uh, he has the best bowling figures so far, but the fourth best uh, ODI figures for India. Obviously, Stuart Binney is uh, leading that race. He gave just four runs and took six wickets uh, against Bangladesh in Mirpur. You all must have uh, remembered that kind of innings uh, on social media as well. A lot of uh, posts are there for Stuart Binney, but uh, here let's have a look at Anil Kumble's figures. Then just Street Bumras, but there comes Mohammed Siraj. He was breathing fire against Sri Lanka. That one over where he took four wickets, it completely changed the match. And now, as I'm talking about Mohammed Siraj, don't forget to also, uh, you know, give credit to Hardik Pandya. He took three wickets, and uh, this was the second time in this Asia Cup that all the wickets were taken by the Pacers. The first time it happened was in the match. 
between Pakistan and India, which happened at the Palakele Stadium, where Pakistani pacers uh, bowled out Indian batters, and all the wickets were taken by their pacers, which were Shaheen Shah, Afridi, Harris Rauf, and Naseem Shah. And this time around in Asia Cup final, we saw how Indian fast bowlers took all the wickets and they bundled down the Sri Lankan team for just 50 runs. As I already mentioned earlier in this video, that everybody was expecting a really uh, last ball thriller or an exciting final but the whole excitement was done and dusted by just one man and it was one man army show with Mohammed Siraj leading from the front and for his um, bowling skills and for what he did in the match against Sri Lanka he got rewarded he got a player of the match award and uh, kindness was at its peak when Siraj dedicated the cash prize to the groundsmen because in this Asia Cup we saw how groundsmen were the match winners in almost all the matches because it rained in each and every match and they were out there to help and make this tournament a success. So Siraj dedicated his cash prize to groundsmen. Great gesture by Mohammed Siraj and to wrap this video up let me tell you who has got the player of the series award and it's none other than Kuldeep Yadav the China man. He has earned his spot in the Indian team and now he has um, said this explicitly that how he was craving for that spot and he's got that spot after one and a half years and he gave credit to Rohit Sharma as well. So that's all from Asia Cup 2023. We were with you throughout this tournament and we will be with you in the upcoming tournaments as well. But here we were with the records galore of Asia Cup 2023 and especially the finals. For more such videos, you stay tuned to Cricket Next.